Today makes two years, two years that my beloved Air Jordan 1 band release. That's right, two years ago, September 3rd, depends on when you guys watching this video, that the Jordan 1 release. As y'all guys saw my previous video, I copped two pairs. One from the trophy room and one from the sneaker app. So this video is dedicated to my grill, my holy grill, the best shoe in my collection, the one shoe that I care to have most two pairs of. Let's get into it. What's poppin' homies? This is your boy Frank Nitty back in the building, back in the sneaker room, back bringing you guys another video. Today's video is gonna be unique as we're already talking the introduction. Today, I'm talking about the Air Jordan 1 band. That's right, two years ago, this shoe came out around September 3rd. I don't know when you guys are watching this video, so if you're watching this video the next day, this is a day after. So real quickly, the history of the Air Jordan 1 and why is my favorite shoe, I'll give you a little rundown, a little context to this video. The Air Jordan 1, considered to be a band Shoot. The NBA decided to ban it. Michael Jordan allegedly got fined $5,000 per game if he wore the shoe. And Nike allegedly paid that price. Those are the myths. Those are the stories. Who knows the actual outcome of the shoe and what was paid and if the Jordan 1 were actually banned. The shoe was actually created in 1985 by Peter Moore. In 1985, Nike created a revolutionary new basketball shoe. A month later, the NBA threw them out of the game. Fortunately, those rules have changed. He was the original designer for the Jordan brand first signature shoe. Now, the rest is history. Now, throughout the years, there is multiple pairs of the Jordan 1. The first was released back in 1985, the second in 1994, the third in 2001, the fourth, and I think the final real true Jordan 1 band release two years ago on September 3rd, 2016. Sorry about that, the autofocus went out, so I had to re-record this video. And I also decided, let's introduce some light. Let's get this conversation very vivid. This is a shoe that I'm very passionate about. The last and final release of the Air Jordan band came September 3rd, two years and one day today, because you guys are watching this joint today i shot this video yesterday on the actual release date which made two years anniversary these joints is my favorite shoe in the collection favorite by far by the stretch of anyone's imagination i do love these shoes more than any other shoe in my collection hence the reason why i got two pairs of them as you guys all know the story if you don't i'm gonna go ahead and leave that video up here I went to the trophy room on September 3rd, actually September 2nd, I drove to Orlando, or very late in the evening. Arrived there, probably seven, eight o'clock in the evening. Got my behind up around seven o'clock that morning, September 3rd, t-shirt weather. It wasn't cold at all. Actually, I'm gonna show you the video of my outfit of the day in that video, and please forgive me, that was rookie ball on the budget, pre-Frank Nitty. I had my Sean John Cargo sweats on and also a black t-shirt with my Kobe tens, those cheddar Kobe tens that I cop from the Nike clearance store for $39. I told you guys, I always rock Kobe's on day of releases because it always bring me good luck. Nevertheless, man, drove to the trophy room, waited in line like everybody else, all seven, 800 people out there and full-fledged trying to take my shoe away from me. I couldn't let it happen, man. The sneaker gods were upon us, they was on my side. They was like, Frank, I know this is your favorite shoe, but if you don't mind taking L's moving forward, I will give you this pair, which I agree, I didn't mind, because God knows I've been shucking out since. I was number 27 out of 120 people. Only 120 people were blessed with the opportunity to purchase these Air Jordan 1 bands, or breads that you guys would call it. I swooped in there, caught my pair, and I went to Starbucks. In the mix of getting my tall hot chocolate, <laughs> I pulled up on the sneaker app and won a pair there. So that's why I was able to double up on two pairs on the same day, September 3rd. Caught me a pair in person and the second one online. The sneaker god blessed me twice in one day. That's the reason why I've been taking L's moving forward. But I'm okay with it, man. I got my holy grail. Of all holy grails, 
for me, the Air Jordan 1 band. These pairs are still DS. The only thing that I've noticed about this shoe that I do not like to date is the fact that they get this mildew or residue on the shoe. So you gotta prep protect this salt and water, whatever you can to get that off every so often. Now these shoes retail for 160, but they're now hitting anywhere above 300 for a pair of these. Matter of fact, they was going for a guap since day one, man. So for those who did not cop the shoe, I apologize. It wasn't meant to be. If I took a pair out of somebody else's hand, sorry, I wanted this shoe. You probably got pairs that I want in my collection and your collection because I was selfish enough to get two pairs of these. These would not leave my possession unless there was another feat that I needed greater than these. And I can't think of anything right now because if I had to sell these shoes, I have a plethora of shoes behind me that probably can get more money than these. And if I was to sell my whole collection, those are probably the only shoes that I won't mind keeping and rocking day to day. The Jordan ones are the most comfortable shoes for me. I don't mind having or rocking them on the daily. As you can tell, this shoe is not DS. This one pair, I have rocked it numerous places. The first time I remember rocking this shoe was when me and my wife went to New York with my son Carter. Carter was probably two and a half years old. And my wife, me and her, wasn't even together. And this was the first time I rocked this shoe. Now, I rocked it a handful of times after that. The most recent I could think of right now, I think, was last week. Now, obviously, if I have the pictures, I'm going to put them up through the screen so you guys can watch the different outfits and how I rock these shoes throughout the years. To be honest with you, I probably could rock a pair of Jordan 1s every day for two months straight, which is crazy, right? Given the fact that there are 30 months in each month, I can do that without a problem. That's not including my doubles, man. Now we all know some Jordan 1s is cut different. 2014s cut a little bit different. The 2015, 16s like the OG high, like what we used to. These Jordan 1s got the Nike Air on the tongue, got that plush leather on the toe box and panels. Actually, yeah, the, the quarter panels on these are not that bad. I have seen better though. But nevertheless, man, this is my favorite colorway of the Jordan 1s. You also got the sizing on the inner sole. I guess that's how Nike did it back in the days. But yeah, man, just want to bring this to note. Two years and a day after the shoe release, you guys are watching this video. Let me know you guys' stories. How many of you guys cop day one? Where do you cop your shoes from? Was it hectic? Was there a lot of people after this shoe? Did you get lucky? Or was it an easy cop? And if you didn't go in person, what about the sneaker app? Do you guys got blessed on the sneaker app as well for this pair of shoes? Do you guys experience any errors or can't cart the shoe or sold out by the time you got online? This probably go down in history as the easiest cop I have got. Doesn't mean I didn't put the work in. I did put the work. I went to the city of release in Orlando, which is an hour away. I went there 12 hours prior, then got up extra early that day so, so I can drive to the trophy room and prepare myself for the biggest W I have caught to date. But anyways, there's pretty much one more shoe I want. Probably not as equally as much as these, but that is the Chicago one. I definitely want to cop those. I hope they remaster those with the leather of the bands. The remasters like you see in the shadows, the royals, and especially these bands, or even my favorite quality leather shoe, the Essential Pack. If they remastered those Chicago ones, sign me up for two of them. I'm a sucker for all OG ones. I like to have double. And the currently shoe I don't have a double of the OG ones are the Royals. But I'll be looking for a second pair here in the near future. And that's pretty much it on the radar for Jordan ones and the band versions. I don't foresee them doing anything crazy in the near future, re-releasing these. I mean, how can they? I mean, they remastered them with the best quality left. The closest thing they did was this year, which was the Bread Toes. And that was the closest thing of Air Jordan band as you can get. I'm glad I got two pairs. I know I'm Gucci. If they decide to put the Air Jordan 1 in the vault, I'm not going to be mad. Good riddance. They need to give this shoe a break. They have thought of, if not produced, every possible idea they can. So I hope they put the shoe to rest. I hope they don't bring out the bands anytime soon. I mean, for those who want it, obviously in your favor, I hope they do. But for me, I am Gucci. Let's move on to something different. Man, I hope you guys appreciate this video, man. I hope you guys enjoy this content. Just want to show you guys a different aspect of a shoe that released. Even though we can't live in the present time of the exact moment the shoe was released, but we can revisit a shoe that dropped six months, maybe a year, possibly two years in this case, the Jordan 1 Bands, and relive that moment. That was Rookie Franks. Go ahead and watch it. I'm gonna link it right up here, man. Let me know your thoughts or anything. Watch that video, come back, leave comments on this video or watch that video, leave comments on that video. I ain't gonna hold you guys up no more. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys for watching this video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell as well. Everybody should know my slogan. If you don't, it's good to go.